Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to measure the voltage in a coin battery, such as you might find in a car key fob and make sure that it still have enough voltage or if you need to replace the battery. So let's do it. So I have a standard multimeter here and I've set it to the battery setting. And then I've got it set at nine volts. These are three volt batteries, so it should show up here well on the register. So I've got a CR20 battery here, a CR1616 that I know is kind of dead. So I've got a little clamp here. And what you want to do is find a way to hold the battery easily. In this case, I'm just going to go like this. And then you're going to want to take your positive, which is the red on the top, and then Negative on bottom, and you can see we're not getting anything. No, no voltage showing up at all. This is a known, a known dead battery. So let's try one that I know is good because it's brand new. Uh, is this CR2450? And if you're not familiar, the two first two numbers are the radius of the coin battery, and then the thickness. So you can see this 2450 is significantly uh, wider radius than the 1616 and then significantly thicker. But let's test this on the multimeter and show you how to do that. So I'll just put this in there. Positive side is always the side with the uh, lettering and then the negative is the kind of rippled side usually. No, not usually, all the time. So we've got the negative on the bottom and let's see what we get. Ah, okay, so look at that. See a multimeter showing 3.25, 3.24. So this has a very, very high voltage for a three volt. This would last for a while. Let's try one more. So again, on a multimeter, you're gonna wanna set it to the battery setting. So make sure it's set on the nine volt setting and then there we go. Okay, so this is a little lower, but this is a 2.79. So this is probably one that you might wanna look at replacing. I, 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 you know, they get below 2.9 and and the voltage is getting pretty low. So this is one I would I would say probably needs, needs a replacement. Let's try one more, why not? What else we got in here? Um, some 1632, sure, let's open one up. This is brand new out of the box, so should be good, right? Let's see, from Amazon Basics. Test this one out with the multimeter. So we've got positive side there, negative side there. And hopefully you can see the multimeter well. Got it set on the nine volt setting and red on top, black on the bottom. Ah! I mean, kind of knew that was gonna happen. Let's try this again. Ah, there we go. Okay, 3.2. See, that's what we want to see. You want to see something like that, especially for a brand new battery. So that's got a great charge. If you're still having issues with your fob and then you're getting a you know, three volt like this, then it's gotta be something else going on with the fob. So that's an easy way to check the voltage of a coin battery that you might find in a car fee key fob uh, using a multimeter such as one from Klein Tools I really like. And I'll put a link to this uh, in the comments. Okay, thanks.